am Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we are going to make cauliflower tots in the air fryer. This recipe is easy to make, it's delicious, and the best part is that each serving contains a whole serving of cauliflower, so while you are enjoying amazing tots, you're eating your veggies. Before we get to the recipe, I wanted to introduce you to my air fryer. This is the Zen Chef Pro Double XL Air Fryer by Zen Chef, who's sponsoring this video. Thank you, Zen Chef. Y'all, I love this air fryer. I have owned many air fryers, and this one is amazing. It's nice and big, it's easy to clean, it's easy to use. It also has this handy little stop button, which is great for when you have a recipe that's done a little sooner than you anticipated. You don't have to unplug it while it's running. But enough about my air fryer. Let's make some tots, y'all. You may be wondering why you would even bother making cauliflower tots from scratch when you can just buy them bagged in the freezer section of the grocery store, and that is a great question. Sometimes I do just throw tots into my air fryer, plug it in and turn it on, and have no prep work to do. But here is the thing about those bagged tots. First of all, a lot of the cauliflower tots at the store contain egg, so if you are vegan or avoiding egg for whatever other reason, um, you might not be able to find vegan cauliflower tots. The other reason that I like making these from scratch is that they are truly not deep fried. Those bagged tots at the grocery store, often they are deep fried before they're frozen and bagged, so while you are not deep frying them, you're still eating deep fried food because it was deep fried before it made its way to your kitchen. All right, so let's get cooking. The first thing that you are gonna do is my favorite cooking shortcut in this recipe, which is we are using frozen rice cauliflower. There's no mincing involved in this recipe. All you have to do is open the bag, measure out your cup and a half of cauliflower and pour it in the bowl. You don't even have to thaw it out because we're going to be cooking this potato and so the warm potato is going to warm up the cauliflower and thaw it just enough and the cold cauliflower is also going to cool off the potato so that way when it's time to knead the dough you can get in there with your hands and not burn yourself. We only need a couple of other ingredients. First, a quarter teaspoon of salt. You may be wondering if the salt is necessary, and I'm gonna say yes, please use the salt. It's really not a lot, and it really brings out the flavor of the cauliflower and the potatoes. The next thing we're gonna use is a tablespoon of oil. Anytime I use oil in an air fryer recipe, I get questions about whether or not it's required. I would say, you don't have to use it, but I recommend it. The oil brings a richness to the tots, and it also helps the outsides brown, more like you would expect from a tater tot, get that crispy browned outside. Um, so you don't have to use the oil, but I really hope that you will. I also realized that I forgot a spatula to stir this, so be right back. So you're just gonna stir this up. You wanna mix it really well because you wanna make sure that the salt is evenly distributed and that you get the um, cauliflower really well coated in that oil. So the next thing we're gonna do is cook this potato. You are welcome to steam it. You're welcome to boil it on the stove top. What I'm gonna do is microwave it. So I'm just going to stab it a few times with this fork. That way it won't explode in the microwave. If you hate microwaves, no need to yell at me in the comments. I am not gonna come to your home and force you to use a microwave to cook this potato. You do you, and I'm gonna do me and go microwave this potato and be right back. And we're back. I've got my cooked potato. It is still hot. Like I said, that's key to making this recipe quick, easy, and no cook. The next step is to just mash this potato into the cauliflower mixture. And you may be wondering why I used a potato instead of another binder for this as the base for these tots. And y'all, I will tell you, I tried all kinds of different binders. I tried flour and cornstarch, I tried using flax meal, but nothing gave this, these tots that kind of texture and taste that you would expect from a tot like a potato did. Potatoes are just the best. And it's only half of a small potato per serving, so really, it's not that big a deal. So, I have mashed my potatoes up a little bit, 
just to cool them down and thaw that cauliflower. And now it's time to get in there with clean hands and form it into dough. You're just gonna kind of, you know, mash and knead. It makes sort of a gross noise. Um, and what you want is to just keep going until you get, it's gonna be kind of a wet dough, but one that kind of stays in a ball when you form it. See how it's kind of coming together? You can even just add to it here. While you're kneading, you can also finish that potato mashing that you started with your fork. There we go. Okay. So at this point, the dough is very cold. Um, the cauliflower is still partially frozen and that's totally fine. So the next thing that we're gonna do is form it into the tot shapes and put them in the air fryer basket. I'm gonna just move this over here and pull out the air fryer basket. Now for this recipe, you do wanna line the basket. So I have already cut my piece of parchment paper you can see that it's cut to the size where when I drop it in, it lines the basket without totally filling it up. There's a little bit of room on the sides for air to still get through. And now you are ready to start forming those tots. So what you're gonna do is dig in with your hands to the dough and grab about a generous tablespoonful of the mixture, about like this much, and just start forming it into a tot shape. I kind of like to roll it between my palms and then flatten the top and the bottom to get an oversized tot and then just place it in the basket. You're going to repeat that with the rest of the mixture. Okay, so now you've got all your tots in your basket, which I will not tilt up and show you because that's going to make everything fall. And you're ready to stick it in the air fryer. So we're gonna cook these at 400 for eight minutes, then pull it out, flip all the tots over, and then cook for six more minutes, and then they'll be ready. So our first eight minutes is up. It's time to flip. Let me pull the basket out. Now, as you flip these, I want you to be so careful it is really easy to burn yourself because the sides of this basket are a little bit high and I don't want that for you. You may also be wondering, since usually in my air fryer recipes I say to shake, not to flip, but with these it's really important to flip because you want them to brown evenly on both sides and as you can see it took me about less than a minute to flip them all. It really makes a big difference. I tried doing them without flipping and without shaking and I tried doing it just without flipping them, but with a gentle shake. Neither situation turned out very well. So we're just gonna put them back in for another six minutes and then they'll be ready to eat. They are ready, y'all. Let's pull out the basket. As you can see, they're nice and brown and crispy. All right, I'm gonna carefully pull out the parchment paper here. Let's serve them. So I had plated these up with a little ramekin full of my vegan honey mustard dressing, but you can use whatever it is that you like to dip tater tots into. Ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, ranch dressing. So that's it. We've made some cauliflower tots. I hope that I answered all of your questions along the way, but if you do have questions about this recipe that I didn't answer, feel free to drop a question below. I'm happy to help. Happy snacking!